influence he is ever susceptible. He, the hierarchy, the energy of which can reach him through the medium of all the three above factors. All these streams of energy have a definite effect upon the centers of the disciple, according to his ray and his specific polarization and his incarnation. As each center is related to one or other of the glands, and these in their turn condition the blood stream, and also have a specific effect upon the organic structure within the range of their vibratory influence, i.e. the stomach, close to the solar plexus, and the heart, close to the heart center, etc. You will see how it is possible that the major diseases from which a disciple can suffer, which are unique and confined primarily, advanced humanity will be the result of overstimulation or the inflow of energy to one particular center, producing excessive and localized trouble. To these conditions the mystic is not so prone unless he is rapidly becoming a practical mystic or occultist. This is a definite transitional cycle between the mystical attitude and the more definite position which the occultists assume. I shall not therefore deal with the diseases to which mystics call air, except that I would like to point out one interesting fact, the mystic is ever conscious of duality. of the soul, of the beloved, of that higher something which he senses is existing and as that which can be found. He strives after recognition of and by the divine. He is the follower of the vision, a disciple of the Christ, and this conditions his thinking and his aspiration. He is a devotee and one who loves the apparently unattainable, the other than himself. with that one reality enables duality to be transmuted into unity in the sense of copyright copyright 1998 Lucas Trust 71 a treatise on the seven rays volume 4 esoteric healing search to be transformed into the effort to become what he essentially is a son of God, one with all sons of God. Having accomplished that, he finds himself one with the one in whom he live and move and have our being. Next, I would point out that the lowest expression of the mystical condition, and one with which we are becoming increasingly familiar, is that which is called a personality, when this condition is present, the personal lower self expresses itself through a basic condition of duality and two persons express themselves, apparently, instead of the integrated personality soul. This necessarily creates a dangerous psychological condition and one which warrants trained scientific handling. That is largely lacking at this time, as so few trained psychologists and psychiatrists recognize the path of the soul. I mention this as it is of value today, and will be increasingly so in the later years when it will be necessary to trace and comprehend the analogies existing in the human consciousness to great unexplored areas of awareness. The split personality and the mystic are two aspects of one whole, the aspect which is right, and along the line of high spiritual unfoldment, and the aspect which is a reflection and a distortion of that grade of development which precedes that of trained occultists.
There are many conditions prevalent in humanity at this time which can be subjected to the same reasoning, and one of the modes of healing which will be worked out later is the discovery of the higher correspondences to the lower difficulties and diseases, and the recognition that they are but distortions of a great reality. This leads to the transference of the attention of the one under the care of the healer to that recognized higher aspect. The whole science of integration is involved in this matter. This science, if properly understood, will open up an entirely new field of psychological approach to disease, whether physiological or nervous. A small beginning has already been made along this line by spiritually minded psychologists and educators. The system of helping people psychologically is definitely along these new lines, and might be expressed as follows. The average psychologist employs the methods when dealing with nervous cases, with those on the borderland, and with neurotically inclined people, of discovering the deep-seated conflict.